Okay, this is going to be part two, left side fairing removal. To do that, you need a four millimeter Allen head wrench, flat bladed screwdriver, something to remove the push pins from the inner chin panel and the inner panels. First thing I always do when I'm taking either side off is take off the lower two push pins on the bottom. Take those out, set them aside. Now you're going to pull out the two push pins for the chin skirt. Set that one aside. Over on the other side of the bike, you're going to take out the other push pin on the top right here. And set it aside. And now you gotta take out your push pin on the inner panel right here. If you turn the wheel all the way and reach between the forks, you can get the one in the back. Push it in. Pull it out, set it aside, go up to the steering neck, take out this push pin right here, helps if you rotate it this way and use the trim panel to help yourself pull it out and set it aside. That's all the push pins you need. Now you're going to get your four millimeter Allen head wrench. Take out the top black headed bolt. You're going to take out the silver headed bolt on your trim panel. Set those aside. You're going to take out this lower Allen head bolt right here in front of the kickstand. If it doesn't come out, don't worry about it. You can leave it in, but there it goes. And then finally, this one on the top. Now you've got all your fasteners out needed to take the fairing off the left side. First thing I usually do is from the bottom is try and spread it apart to try and free up the chin skirt. Just like that. As soon as you do, it'll all pop apart just like that. You can get it out just like that, alright? Now, you don't really have to take these inner panels out to take the fairing off, but it helps for sure if you can work the inside panel out because you're going to need to get up in there. That one will just come right out like that. You can leave the chin skirt, but later you're going to need to put your hand up in here to free this fairing from here. First thing you need to do now that you got all the fasteners off and the fairing is free, the lower push pin is off is lift this top plug off. There's a plug that goes in the fairing. It goes down and in. If you pull the fairing out, you're going to break it. What you need to do is, with your fingers inside the rubber seam right here, with your knee on the fairing to keep it from coming out, lift that up real gently and you'll feel it pop out.
Once it pops out, it's free. You can pull out the other push pin and the fairings ready to come on. Just like that. <clears throat> now this is where I said you're going to need to reach up in here. Left side fits tighter than the right side. Helps to straighten the wheel. If you reach up, if you look up in here, the nose panel fits over this, so there's a little tab. You got to lift that tab with your with your thumb. As soon as you lift that tab, pull down a little bit, slide your thumb up in there. You'll feel it start to come undone. When it comes undone like that, you're ready to pry it off. It snaps right off. Slide the left side fairing back, down, and out, and off. That's your left side fairing removal. Set it aside, and you're done.